If only security had done their jobs that night, Samoa Joe never would have made it past the arena's metal detector. Sorry, just trying to keep it positive. Which is hard to do because our story wouldn't be complete without talking about one giant negative. I'm referring, of course, to the arrival of the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun in WWE. Because of Brooklyn, our lives and careers would never be the same. Although if you think about it, they were pretty much the same as they'd always been because no matter where we went or what we accomplished, we could never escape Brooklyn's loud, obnoxious shadow. We gave Brooklyn a lot of chances to prove she had changed. Well, mostly Trey did. But ultimately, she only proved one thing. She was the exact same bully she was way back when we were in high school. And she wasn't just a jerk to us. She disrespected anyone she dealt with, including WWE legends. Is that all you got? It feels like you're taking a teacup poodle for a walk on my back. Excuse me, Miss Von Braun. Can we talk? Can't you see I'm conducting important GM business? Come on, I really need you to get in there. Work it. It will only take a minute. What? I don't want my car washed or candy from your stupid kids fundraiser or whatever crap you're selling. Actually, I'm the original American hero, Kurt Angle. You know, the Hall of Famer you borrowed your nickname from without asking. Come back in five with stronger hands. So what do you want? An autograph from the real American hero? A picture? Tell me what I need to do to make you go away. I need you to drop the lawsuit against me. If you don't, it will bankrupt my family. No chance. I'm the way more famous American hero, and I will not allow you to continue profiting off my celebrity. I won a gold medal for my country with a broken freaking neck. What have you ever done that makes you an American hero? Uh, filed a trademark? Security! Wait. Maybe we can settle this without lawyers. If there's anything that could change your mind, I'd do it. Anything? It just so happens we have a superstar who was gone for a very long time and needs to knock off some ring rust. So I'll drop the lawsuit if you can beat Samoa Joe. But Joe's a monster. He's got that bionic arm that could tear me apart, and I haven't competed in years. Samoa Joe hasn't competed in years either, so it should be a competitive match. Good luck. Here comes the Olympic gold medalist. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, Kurt Angle. He's back. The Olympic gold medalist, the multi-time world champion. A true treat to watch in the ring. One of the absolute best to ever do it. The most dangerous man in WWE today. And his opponent from Huntington Beach, California. Weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe! Samoa Joe was the first man to win the NXT Championship twice. He won the very first Dusty Classic in NXT, and I think we're in store for another first here tonight. Multi-time NXT Champion, multi-time United States Champion, Samoa Joe is a big, bad dude.
This is a match I never expected to see tonight. Kurt Angle has been retired for years. Brooklyn Von Braun's legal case against Angle has clearly caused him distress so much that he's willing to risk his well-being to get Brooklyn to drop the lawsuit altogether. But Kurt Angle should have just stopped using the American Hero nickname when he had the chance, and none of this would be happening. Instead, he let his pride get in the way of rational thinking. Now he's in for a world of physical and financial suffering. Oh, great body control. Kurt Angle attacking like a madman. His energy is great, but it remains to be seen how good his stamina is. Gentlemen, this is Samoa Joe. He is a very, very horrible person. He doesn't lie to the public about what he is. He Angle slam attempt. Joe counters. It's all over. It's Trey. He has no business being out here. Kurt Angle from behind. He got him. Kurt Angle has defeated Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is livid. I imagine Brooklyn Von Braun isn't going to be too pleased either. Too bad. All that matters is Kurt Angle has got the win, and now he can officially be known again as the American hero. Since you like getting involved in my business so much, maybe you should pay all the legal bills for the lawsuit I have to drop now. Yeah? Yeah. Well, you messed with us in the best of five series, and that cost Red her title. So I'd say we're even now. Is that what you think happened? I signed Samoa Joe because he was unfairly let go from WWE, not to mention he's a great addition to the roster. But I had nothing to do with him costing you the series. I don't control him. No one can. Which is something you should be very worried about. So if you're not out to get us, then prove it. Give me a rematch for my championship that I lost without ever being pinned. Let me think about that. No. That's what I thought. But what I will do is give the audience something new and fresh. Trey, you're going to face Adam Cole next week for his WWE Championship in a no disqualification match. See? Maybe I'm not so bad after all. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to go find someone else I can sue to recoup my losses. Introducing the challenger from Scottsdale, Arizona, weighing in at 240 pounds, Nick Parker. And introducing the champion from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. One of these men will be walking away with the Immortal World Heavyweight Championship. This is a huge opportunity tonight for Trey as he goes one-on-one -on -one with Adam Cole for the WWE Championship in a no-disqualification match. Honestly, I'm surprised Brooklyn put Trey in this position, especially after he got involved in the Kurt Angle-Samoa Joe match last week. Everyone thinks they know Brooklyn and her intentions, but she said it herself. She's made an entire career out of defying expectations. It's what led her to success in mixed martial arts, and I predict it will also benefit her greatly in WWE. Oh, no, this isn't going to end well. Ugh. Not where you want to be at this point in the match, guys. Definitely not. The Undisputed Era group can be linked back to its leader, Adam Cole. The trio was built with specific elements in mind. And it... Oh, look out! Double stomp! Ooh! 
The champ getting put to the test here. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Oh! <laughs> Showing a lot of fury with these attacks. We'll see if his stamina lasts. Anticipated that attack perfectly. What to do next here? Three. Back gonna suffer the brunt of that damage. Back now inside the ring. Four. The championship hanging in the balance. Drop kick. Beautiful. Suplex. The champ looking worn out. He's lost much of his early confidence. And the referee starts his 10 count. Yank right off the apron. Oh, no. Whoa. Caught off guard. Scoop slam. Three. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. Trey has Adam Cole in trouble. Hold on, what is Samoa Joe doing out here? Whoa, what the heck? That makes no sense whatsoever. What are you doing? Cover him. I'm not gonna win like that. Fine. Oh. And now Samoa Joe with the attack on Trey. It seems Samoa Joe wants Trey to win the match, and he's going to do anything he can to make it happen. Count it now. I'm not sure why Samoa Joe did what he did, but as a result, Trey is your new WWE Champion. I really have no explanation for this either. As far as we know, Samoa Joe has nothing but contempt for Trey. So why would he help him win the WWE Championship? Hopefully we'll get some answers soon. I wanted to earn this. Now everyone's gonna look at me like I'm some kind of fluke champion. Again. I know you're frustrated, but maybe it's not that bad. Besides, if you defend it enough, then people will respect you. Seven years. Seven years ago, you took what was mine, and I never got to take it back. You know, a lot of significant life events can happen in that amount of time. Birthdays, holidays, Funerals, and I miss them all. Because for over 2,500 days, one thing has consumed me, revenge. I even augmented my body to ensure that when the time came, there would be nothing that stopped me from destroying you. So now, we're so close. I helped you win this championship for one reason only. So I can finally take back what you took from me. But that doesn't even make sense. It's not the same title. Don't! Don't say that. It's the same. It's exactly the same. Seven years and the surgery and the pain and I am going to take it back. Hey! You want to tell me what that was all about? I had nothing to do with it. You think I wanted to win the title like that? I don't think you give a damn as long as you're champion. I want my rematch. I promise I'll make this right. Okay, chump. <laughs> okay, Trey, how about we do that right now? No, Trey, Trey, let's go. <laughs> From the outside, my life looks pretty good. I was WWE Champion, and I was about to team with none other than Ronda Rousey in the Mixed Match Challenge. 
The truth is, I couldn't enjoy any of that. I had a maniac breathing down my neck who'd spent seven years planning my demise. But at least my title defense against Adam Cole would take place in a steel cage so that psychopath couldn't interfere. Or so I thought. Introducing the challenger from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole. And introducing the champion from Scottsdale, Arizona, weighing in at 240 pounds, he is the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Nick Parker. One of these men will be walking away with the immortal World Heavyweight Championship. It's not often that a newly crowned champion defends their title for the first time in a steel cage. But that's exactly the situation Trey finds himself in tonight against Adam Cole. And usually the purpose of a steel cage is to keep two opponents inside, but in this case, I think the intention is to keep Samoa Joe on the outside if he were to get involved. Honestly, after everything we've seen from Samoa Joe since he returned, I'm not sure this steel cage is enough to keep him at bay. Dangerous situation here, guys. Downright treacherous. Moonsault. Oh, wow. What a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Well, it's time for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. So you know we're going to see the best of the best. Boom, what impact. Oh, what impact. Oh, again. Oh, there. my God, what an elbow. With the championship at stake, you know these superstars are going to give everything they can to win here tonight. The challenger is looking shaken. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Harsh impact. Adam Cole reverses, sending Trey straight into the steel cage. Trey looks like he's in severe pain. And right on cue. Just as Adam Cole seems to have this match won, here comes Samoa Joe to try to stop him. Joe slams the cage door on Adam Cole. Joe is dead set on keeping the WWE Championship on Trey so he can take it from him after not getting his rematch seven years ago. Trey with a drop kick into the cage, sending Samoa Joe crashing to the floor. Trey isn't going to sit back and let Joe help him. Well, it's admirable, I guess, but I think he should take the help. It appears Red is out here to help get rid of Samoa Joe so Trey can show he can do this by himself. Don't feed into his ego, Red. If you were a real friend, you'd let him have any help he could get. Trey is equally determined to prove he's not a fluke champion. He wants to win this match on his own. Oh, Stunner! Man. Champion into the cover. An easy kick out for Adam Cole. Still a lot more fight left. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. 
brutality. He's just dominating at this point. And he's a guy that can flip a switch and turn it on like this. Regardless of how you feel about the tactics employed by Adam Cole, the man's ability when the bell rings is incredible. You'll be hard-pressed to find a more versatile competitor anywhere. I'm shocked. You finally got something right, Michael. The Panama City Playboy is a superb technician and can brawl with the best of them. Oh, knee right to the face. He's in full control now. That's gotta be One. it. Gets the shoulder up before three. That's too early for that. Ring rattling. It's champion's advantage. The title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. You can lose the match and still keep the championship. Ladies and gentlemen, this one-on-one -on -one match is for the championship. Do not change the channel. Do not go to the fridge. Text your friends. We may be witnessing history here. Setting up. It hit. It hit. Now that is why they're the champ. This singles contest has the victor. WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Nick Parker. Very nicely done and a very important victory. <laughs> I'll tell you, Adam Cole's never going to be an industry ruler with losses like this. Guys, I've literally got chills after watching that thrilling championship match. Great job defending your title against Adam Cole. Thanks. More importantly, I showed everyone I didn't need Samoa Joe's help to do it. You have anything left in the tank for your mixed match challenge later? Honestly, I'm running on fumes, so I'm kind of hoping Ronda carries our team tonight. Hmm. By the way, do you even have a partner yet? No. Brooklyn's making me wait until the last minute to find out who it is. Typical. Well, whoever it is, we might have to face each other at some point, which is going to be weird. I know, but FYI, I just put win mixed match challenge on the list, and I plan on being the one who crosses it off. We'll see. <laughs>